Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and this is another shortwave story video. Um, I want to thank everybody that are sending me some uh, comments and messages of the that you enjoy these videos of little stories and anecdotes that I have from uh, you know my 38 years of shortwave listening. So what you see here is uh, my first call Israel QSL card when Israel was on shortwave and even had a North American service in the evening and you could see here uh, here in the back if we look at the back of the card um, 16 March of 1983 on 9815 at 02 UTC I still remember when I got this QSL card thinking that it was the um, ugliest QSL card I had yet <laughs> it's kind of interesting so um, this was at the beginning. This, I mean, this Caller's Real QSL card is probably in the top, you know, 10 to 20 first QSLs I've ever received. Um, there's an interesting uh, side to this because one of the one of the things that I one of the special um, moments that I would say that I have with Call Israel is the fact that. I believe Call Israel is in the first ever stations I've received on shortwave. The first night that I tuned around on my um, my shortwave receiver, the the famous Realistic DX100. So it's one of the first stations I've heard. Um, I cannot say it's the first. I don't think it is the first, but it is. I know that. I, I clearly remember a few stations from the first evening of listening, and I clearly remember Call Israel being one of them in English. And, um, you know, the, the Call Israel is mostly news and, and, and stuff like that and what's happening in the Middle East with their, their point of view. Um, I can't say that it was one of my favorite shortwave stations or anything, but I do... I do remember that when you know they were on the air, I would often uh, listen to. And as time went by, they changed their North American service was gone. Most of what I was listening to was the French or English news broadcast because it was greatly reduced to what was I think a 15-minute news broadcast for a while, and that's it on shortwave, and mostly to Europe and the Middle East. But um, it's you know it's one of those first stations I heard, so there's always a little something special, and, you know, the first QSL card, even though <laughs> even though I always thought, and I, I, I still today think it's ugly um, it's the first QSL, you know, your first QSL, whatever it looks like, whatever it is, is always a little special for every station you receive a QSL card, because, hey, it's the first time you get contact from them, and, you know and it's cool, because I mean, it's the proof of having received Israel in the past on shortwave. Um, one of the interesting little tidbits here is um, in the in the early 2000s, I believe, I don't remember exactly the date, but on medium wave AM on 1650 kilohertz, a uh, Jewish community station uh, opened up here in Montreal. And I remember, um, you know, a, out of curiosity, like just tuning around and by accident falling on the uh, Call Israel newscast. And uh, I remember when I listened to them back on, on, on the uh, medium wave band here in Montreal, they were gone from shortwave. And somehow I was kind of happy to have that little 15 minutes. And they had both French and English. So it was like I remember every day at noon. Um, it was 15 minutes of French, and then it was followed by 15 minutes of English, or maybe the other way around. Uh, news broadcast from Call Israel, and um, that continued my Call Israel listening at some point, because I could tune in to the newscast at least on uh, the medium wave band. I believe today that station, which is on 1650, is not of a Jewish community anymore. Um, there's a lot of changes on the AM band, and I don't follow that much what's happening on local radio, so kind of interesting. 
but um, you know, I, I I think it was fun to have at least uh, some form of broadcast, even if it was just 15 minutes from Israel on shortwave, which has been long gone now. Um, I don't remember when they left shortwave, but um, it's a pretty pretty long time ago. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.